everybody, how's it going? Welcome to Ocarina of Time Master Quest Episode 6. Please support the channel and like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. So, I decided to look up some information about Ocarina of Time's Master Quest. That, you know, this is a, I guess, uh, remake slash remaster of the stuff that the original creator wanted to add into the game on the Nintendo 64. And then something came up and they did Matora's Mass, so they had a team there, then they moved a team elsewhere to Master Quest. Um... I might make this the last episode for now. Actually, I will be, and I'll play this off and on later in the year. But I'll probably do like a two-hour episode on uh, Sunday evenings, depending on what goes on. Because I'm planning on having my Sundays loaded with content, like at least three or four videos, give or take. Um probably three videos, one for the morning, one for midday, and one for the evening slot, because of how I'm starting to change up content. Well, I am going to make my way up to Death Mountain, but this is an article that I have found, and I took a snippet of it. Um, I can't remember where it is, I can't credit the person individually. And this is what I also found out elsewhere, and they almost all say the same thing. Um... I'm going to read this here real fast. Since Master Quest is simply an expansion to The Legend of Zelda Awkward in Time, both titles feature the exact same narrative and take place the same version of Hyrule. Yeah, I already knew that. In fact, both are identical until the player enters dun a dungeon. Master Quest is only different in these segments of the game, which feature the same rooms and layouts. The exact same rooms and layouts, which feature... Uh, whoops. Um... But with the dramatically remixed puzzles and enemy placements. These new Zelda dungeons are designed to test the skills of even the most seasoned player. The puzzles and key placements completely change the route players take through each dungeon, and it's easy to get confused by years of Ocarina of Time instinct when going through this more challenging version. There's also a case, too, in this. Ocarina of Time's Master Quest is also not that much different than the original Ocarina of Time other than just dungeon placements and just enemy placements. So, that's pretty much all the article says. Um, I'm actually very disappointed in that. I was kind of hoping, you know, more stuff within the entire world would be changed. But, um... It seems like just the dungeons have the same layout, but the puzzles and placements are just a little different. So this is pretty much like a an official randomizer, but set in stone. And I need to get my Hylian shield on. So uh, yeah, um, that's what really put me off on playing this. I'll play this, you know, for for at least 35 more 40 minutes. But it just. It's really sad. I was actually hoping a little bit more. But also, too, with my mindset, I want to have video games that, you know, are very engaging with me. But, um... I just don't know what else to say, but that's what Ocarina of Time is. It's pretty much... Stuff is randomized layouts and everything's the same. It's just the challenge factor is supposedly a little bit different. But another thing, too, I've also found out that this uh, Master Quest is ranked very, very low compared to all the other Legend of Zelda Master Quests out there. It's very overlooked and supposedly frowned upon. And I guess I kind of believe it because of how it's not offering too much of a change. The world's the same, just a few very teeny tiny minute differences. But when it comes to the dungeon, um, it's, it's the same, but just some differences here and there. And while I was also reading around too, uh, seasoned vet, or I should say seasoned veterans of Ocarina of Time and into Master's Quest says it's actually just, just kind of cakewalk. It, it throws you off just a tiny bit, but it's just pretty much straightforward, so... Um, yeah. 
Because I had one comment which had also disappeared. And I also found out why my comments disappear as I was talking to YouTube over on Twitter. Uh, legitimate sources. And if they're not plausible legitimate sources, like, you know, like a bot and everything, they get deleted by the system. And so that account that is whatever it's doing, you know, on YouTube and elsewhere, uh, on YouTube platform, it's, it's, they worded it kind of straightforward, but I'm kind of interpreting what I read, what they handed to me, is uh, reason why stuff uh, disappears because it gets deleted by the system because of their activity. Uh, you know, bots and everything, so it kind of makes sense. So why a lot of the comments that uh, that are there, they just kind of disappear, along with uh, views and likes, because I've had videos that get up well over at least 50, 60 views, and then just tank all the way down to like 20 or 30, if not even that, to like one or two. It's like a recent video that I did for uh, Soul Calibur 2 uh, Link gameplay. It was well up over like what 15 16 and then all of a sudden it just tanked down to like one or two it's back up in the teens now and it actually had three likes but now it's like down to one or something like that so yeah that uh shows me that my account is plagued by bots um is this the room to go into oh no I think I need to do your standing on a soft carpet. Yes, it feels so flush for you. Alright. Why is this thing clicking? You hear that click, click, click sound? Eh. But anyways, back to the GameCube content. Um, I'm going to continue to do GameCube content. That's not stopping. But I'm just going to stop this particular one. It just, yeah, I, I it just doesn't make any sense. It's like you, you do a master quest and there's change a few things up. It's like, yeah. But anyways, when I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. As the Runia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his own son brother, the king. Now, I'm really angry. Get out of my face, now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dongle's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But, this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Yeah, well, let me whip this out. Let's cheer you up. So, yeah, I know people are wanting to watch this off and on. But here I am, you know, almost nine minutes in, you know, bickering and complaining. But, hey, you know, I'm straightforward and honest with my audience within all of my videos. I just noticed something, his hand's glitching through the spear. <laughs> He's literally just slicing his hand and... Well, okay, that's a thing. Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire, too. The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. You want it so badly, 
Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dongle's Cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick a bomb flower using A. Now to go around the bracelet, now you can pick up all the bomb flowers. Alright. By the way, please do support the channel. Like I said it earlier, people are watching but not subscribing. It's very, very terrible. I understand I'm not like all the other gaming channels out there, but I am very sincere and straight to the point, and I'm not afraid to speak my mind. In fact, I'm actually working on another uh, talking video right now. I don't know when it'll be out, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm working on something. Uh -oh. Okay. Not much of a city when there's not many Gorons around. Maybe that did it. Oh! Ah! Even got the sign. <laughs> hey, can I jump off from here? Repaired itself, okay. Now, just because I'm gonna stop playing the game after today doesn't mean I'm not gonna stop, you know, recording. I'll go for at least another 15 to 17 more minutes. Um, is this a wall? Yep, it is. So, yeah, that's just. I will, I will finish this game, but it just. Uh, I was hoping for a lot more, and they said it's, it's the same layout, same rooms and everything, but just some puzzles, you know, are changed, you know, the keys are, you know, diff in different locations, it's just not much of a challenge factor. Listen. Oh, looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. getting close to that keeps going down dear god you know I've just now noticed how big this ribcage is can you imagine the mythical times of how this Dodongo once lived there really needs to be a, like a full lore book explaining all this stuff in Hyrule because we just still don't know anything about what's this and so and so between the events of you know this game and that game so I feel that it's a huge opportunity that uh, Nintendo could pick up on. Make it like out of an anime series. But you know, that's just me. Oh, there's a door right there, but I'm not going to be able to get to it. Ah. There we go. So what do we got here? Oh, the map. Okay. Oh yeah, the red button skips. So it does say that the layouts are the same exact thing. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's really, like I said earlier, it's really deterring. It's, um... Came into this game thinking that a lot would be changed, but sadly, no. Sadly, no. Can I make that? I don't think I can. I mean, one game I can always play on here is the, uh, the first Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time remake. Which is packaged with this, it's just, you know, the same graphics and all, and, and everything that's, you know, placed, you know, on how it originally is. Yeah. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. So I got a few things opened up. Oh, hello. Where to exactly go? There's fire right there. Oh, no, oh, wasn't fast enough. Oh, here's a ladder. Yeah, I need a fire in order to open that. Turn, I will sell you Deku Seeds. 30 pieces, 40 re No, you're expensive. Um, what are you gonna sell me? Deku Sticks. One piece, 15. <laughs> well, I guess, you know, they're hard to come by up, up here. Um... there? No. What I'll have to do is I'll have to grab a bomb and get the side areas here. Yep, it's a real, real damn shame that, uh, that this is like that. Sees Fred a new way to go. And pretty much once you get your own bombs and such, you just drop the bombs down into the ice. So pretty much the same damn thing as normal Ocarina of Time. Isn't that something? And it explains why that a lot of people frown upon the. Uh, Oh, 
on this particular uh, master quest. But you know it is what it is. Everyone's a critic, you know, including myself. So. I got some stuff unlocked I need to save. But yeah, it just... Hmm. And of course, back in these days of, of yesteryear, a lot of people, when they, re, you know, did, you know, remakes and stuff, it wasn't that much of a difference. They just added in extra stuff that was cut. Now this thing can shut up. Another heart. Oh, I see another pot back here. Also saw something right there. I need sticks to just come up here and farm that, okay. Woohoo! Oh, nothing. I wonder if there's anything. Oh. Oh, you can see the edge. Okay. That's interesting. I 
Ah. I'm trying to be happy. I'm trying to... I'm trying to be okay with this. As all of you have heard me, if you've been following this small little gameplay series, it's like, well, it's not much different, not much different, and when I researched it, it's just that. It's not much different. Yeah. That's not good. Oh, why, I don't know why I did that. Oh my gosh. There's also some boulders there. Listen, how fast does that thing move? Mm, I don't know if I could pull that off. I want to try it before I go back over here. I'm not going to be able to. Looks like I'm going to have to wait. Did I pick it up? Yeah. forward they don't want to do anything need fire in order to set these off. No, 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 no. The 
does not want to cooperate. Don't ya? Come on. Hopefully that did it. Gotta be fast. Yes, I would like to save. Alright, so this is the last episode of Ocarina of Time Master Quest for a while. Um it's saved. I should be able to start in the cavern. Next time when I play this, it'll be on Sundays, like in the mid day or after or afternoon slot. Well, I should say midday or evening slot. There we go. It's not just because I don't hate the game, it's because of what I found and discovered because I kept playing it and playing it. It's like, gosh, there's not much difference. It's just a few changes here and there, layouts and everything. Dungeon layouts are the same, just placements are a little different, so... I was expecting more. Expecting a lot more, but... Now I understand why people rank this Master Quest of Ocarina of Time cleared down on the list it's almost in the very back of uh, of the list in fact people love the game but evidently not the master quest so already um I'll get something else going here for uh, for GameCube content and see if I can't find my Crystal Chronicles uh, CD but also too I have something else coming in the mail so hopefully these one-off videos as I bring them out will last until this game arrives and hopefully it actually works. So I shall catch you all in the next video.